All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this NBA 2K23 My NBA Career. And we are going to start with this year's trade deadline moves. If you do not know, every single season, if a team is playing bad um, and they've been playing bad consistently and they have a star player, I will trade those star players and put them into a rebuild mode. It's vice versa. If a team is playing good or playing better than expected, I'll have them be buyers and I will send them winning type players. So the 76ers are the first team up. They were, I think, the sixth seed. Oops. They were the sixth seed um, going into the trades that were made. Um, so they added Christian Wood to the team. They did trade their young player, Ray John Rupert, who has not been playing well. He's shooting like 36% from the field. Um, the Boston Celtics, uh, they do a huge trade. This might be the biggest trade of this deadline. The Sonics are going to send Julius Rando, Rando and Gabe Vincent and Grant Williams also getting sent to the Celtics. And in return, the Sonics are going to get Lou Dort. They're going to get Josh Christopher, Jock Landell, Xavier Tillman, and two first round picks from the Celtics. Now it's time for the big boy, the LA Clippers. As you see, they made trades of their own. They ended up trading for Corey Kispert, which I don't know why the Wizards would ever do that trade, but they did. First trade, Kawhi Leonard is getting sent to the Golden State Warriors, who you already knew do not have Draymond Green anymore, do not have Klay Thompson anymore. They are trading Jordan Poole and Jonathan Kuminga along with a first-round pick in three seconds because they couldn't trade any more first for Kawhi Leonard. And Paul George is getting sent to the Wizards to team up with Jamal Murray and Jason Tatum. This was another three-teamer. The um, Wizards are going to end up trading Fred Van Vliet, who they got in that Corey Kispert trade. They're trading him back to the Clippers. He ended up getting moved. Uh, they're trading Oladipo, Christian Wood, who ended up getting moved to the Sixers, and um, one of the young guys for Paul George. Now we go to the Hawks. They are going to trade DeJounte Murray and Vucevic to the Pelicans for Rudy Gobert, who was on the last year of his deal, um, Marquise Noel, who is a 5'8 point guard, and two first round picks and two second round picks picks now when i was making this trade i did not realize i forgot that trey young was on the pelican so now Dejounte murray and trey young are back together but it is what it is and they are going to trade john collins over to the sacramento king for basically two first round picks and yeah those were all of these trades uh, a long ass intro we are going up against kyrie irving lebron james and this lakers team jay rich is a part of this team he's not playing as good as he did when he was playing with us but we're going to see if we can take out lebron and kyrie together who are currently eight seed they're on a little bit of a win streak now um i believe their record is i don't think it's gonna show yeah it's not gonna show uh nonetheless they're the eight seed we are currently the one seed we are 39 and 12 and if you don't know, did not know last episode i mentioned if you comment down below the record and the seeding we will be at the end of the season i will put it in the end of the season video so be sure to put that down in the comments we have 39 and 12 so far i saw a lot of 60 wins a lot of 58 wins so we'll see we will definitely see i mean to get 60 wins we can only lose 10 more games we have to go 21 and 10 which is possible very possible um but without further ado let's hop into this lakers game leave a like if you guys are new leave a like if you guys are new subscribe if you guys are new or leave a like if you enjoyed let's go beat lebron all right, here we are in Los Angeles. The Lakers are at 526 and 26 on the year. We are 39 and 12. Let's get into it. Um, we'll start with LaMelo on Kyrie for now. But if Kyrie starts to become an issue like he usually does, then I will probably put myself onto him. I'm not going to put myself on LeBron for the fact of I am 6'4", he is 6'8", and he's LeBron James. Uh, so I will be on Terry Rogier to start off this game, and we're going to pray that LaMelo Ball can hold his own against Kyrie Irving. I would figure this Lakers team would be a lot better. Okay, Kyrie drains it. I would think this Lakers team would be a lot better with Kyrie and LeBron and then having players like Okongu is averaging 17 points and 9 rebounds this year. He's having a fantastic season um, as LaMelo gets the layup over LeBron. Uh, you would think it, with the sporting cast, they'd be a lot better, but no. They are just 26 and 26. They most likely will make the playoffs or be in the play-in as I get that steal. I saw that coming from a mile away. Uh, I'm just going to go straight at Terry Rozier and get fouled. Give me that. Oh, that would have been my third steal of the game. Oh, LaMelo with the steal. No wonder why this team is 500. They can't take care of the basketball. 
DeAndre in that, yeah, that would have been just a terrible play there. LeBron probably would have had that locked down. I'm going straight to the post on Kyrie Irving. He's going to come to me. Pause. Aaron Gordon from downtown. He bricked the hell out of that one. Oh, I just picked up my second foul. I'm going straight to the bench now. That, oh my God. I had a charge on Jay Rich. Now I have that shooting foul, so I'm going straight to the bench. Literally two and a half minutes into the game. Off to a great start, and uh, we're currently up by 10. So I will take that. And, oh my God, no wonder why they're 500. They have Javon Carter, uh, Chris Boucher coming off their bench with, um, I'm guessing that's a rookie, number 30. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. They're running a lineup with no LeBron or Kyrie on the court. And we have myself, LaMelo, and Aiden. Yeah, barbecue chicken alert. You guys are asking to get blown the hell out, bro. What is that lineup you have out here? That is not winning you games. You have to have LeBron or Kyrie out on this court. Terry Rozier can't be your best player. And look, turnover. Oh, they took Aiden out. Ah, oh, you sons of guns. We currently have three double-digit scorers. Myself, LaMelo, and... Um, uh, Mr. How am I forgetting his name? Sabonis. All have 10 or more. And, oh, my Conley's wide open. Launch it, my Conley. And Aiton has 7. Wow, I, my Conley drills it. Uh, Aiton has 7 and Nick Richards have 7. I wanted to see if I can get 4 players with double digit points before halftime. But, uh, I mean, it might be possible. I don't know how many points Aaron Gordon has. Or even Mike Conley who just drilled that 3. That might be his first bucket of the game. As Kyrie Irving, get that out of here! Kyrie Irving swatted by Lewis. What a block. Cedric Lewis has become a shot blocker here in season number three. What a rejection there. I'm going to pull it. Oh, wow. That should have been a foul. What was that shot? Oh, fouled. LeBron fouled. Don't tell me how. All right. I don't know what that shot was, but we are currently decimating the Lakers right now. 23-point lead. It was a 10-point lead when I got subbed in. As I nearly went um, backward there. It was a 10-point lead, but uh, it has just ballooned. Aaron Gordon now has 9 points. I have a first half double-double, and the Lakers are going to get the last shot of the half. Uh, as I accidentally uh, fouled there. Um, three fouls in the first half. Not good. Not good, and I have been fouling a lot recently. LeBron James is probably going to get the inbound pass here. Or is he? No, he is. In the corner with Aaron Gordon on him. He had space there, but he is tired. LeBron launches it. I'm going to get the rebound and go up court, go up court, go up court. Uh, five seconds left. I am going to just Euro step floater. I almost went to 70 to 45 is your halftime score. We're up by 25 points. And these are the same sliders we had in the playoffs where we got spanked by the Spurs. They're shooting 50% from the field too, which is not bad. We have just attempted 10 more shots and made 13 more shots. So I feel like that's probably the um, the difference maker right there. Nick Richards, tough, tough shot. You can get that right back up though, Nick. There you go. Nick Richards, I believe that's 9 points for him. We currently have 5 players with double digits or more to their 2 players with double digits. And LeBron isn't even one of them with double digits. It's Aero Rozier and Kyrie Irving. Nick Richards it has nine, so he will be, what I say, five? He would be the sixth player with double-figure points. I'm getting subbed out here. Haven't got subbed out since those three fouls, so I think it's about time Cedric gets some rest here. As two minutes left in the third, they've cut it to a 28-point lead. I mean, they, I want to say cut it, but uh, I'm just going to launch that. Ah, bad release. That would have dropped, too, if I had that release down. 15 seconds left in this third quarter. Uh, currently have a 33-point lead. I, I expected this to be a little bit more of a competitive game, but apparently only the Cavaliers and the Spurs, and I guess the Miami Heat, can give us competitive games. LeBron James step back, fade away. Definitely not going. So bonus stole my 6th rebound there, but whatever. 96-63 is your score heading into the fourth. I highly doubt the Lakers mount some sort of comeback. Uh, so it's safe to say this one's... um in the books and we will get our 40th win of the season i think it will be the first team to 40 wins if i'm not mistaken oh as i'm getting subbed out all right wow they brought in the bench unit and so did we we brought out the scrubs but yeah i was gonna say it won't be for long 30 seconds <laughs> i currently have my career high in assists and if you hear that in the background that is my air conditioner uh, i don't feel like roasting tonight 
Um, but I have my career high. My career high before this was, I think, 20, not 20, uh, 18 assists, if I was correct when I checked it. Um, and I currently have 23. 23 assists. Let's see if I can get up to 25 and near break the record. Uh, Nick Richards, that shot does not help. Kick, kick it back, you know what? Oh my god, bro, I cannot hit a three. I am three for eight. That My release is just awful tonight. Nine for 17 on the night. Three of eight from downtown. It is just not going well for Cedric. All right, currently have 24 assists right now. Let's see if I can get to my 25. Nick Richards, come set the screen. Okay, I'm just going to score here. Oh my god, and one! What a dunk for Cedric, and I guess that guarantees I'm going to stay in the game too. So I got 40 seconds to get one more assist. I got 27 points, so I will not end with more assists than points. Um, but I got to get one more assist. I still got Sabonis and Nick Richards in the game. Sabonis is probably the best bet because uh, him and Aiden have a majority of my assist uh, as they're going to give it up to Nkongwu, who's going to make that bucket. 27 seconds left. I have to get this assist, and they're going to inbound me the ball. As much as I love to get 30 along with it, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Everyone... Clear the paint. So bonus. Get me assist number 25. 27 points. 7 rebounds. 25 assists. And we are up by 42 points. My voice cracked there. 4 seconds left. LeBron is going to dribble the ball out. And what is going to be an embarrassing loss for the Lakers. I wonder if that's LeBron's. That has to be LeBron's biggest loss of his career. 42 points. They didn't even score 90. Final box score. They didn't have a player over 20. But hey, man. They, they had five double-digit scorers. Uh, Terry Rozier led them with 19 points. He did have four turnovers and only one assist. But shot pretty damn well, I won't lie. Uh, Kyrie Irving held to only 14 points. 5 of 12, 1 of 4 from 3. Uh, four turnovers to five assists. I mean, LaMelo Ball did a fantastic job with him. Uh, Craig McDaniel, that 30 um, number 30, small forward, he had 12 points, he actually was arguably, no, not even arguably, he probably was their second best player, arguably um, third behind Okongwu, 12 points off the bench, not bad, LeBron washed King, man, 11 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, he did have 2 steals and a block, but 5 for 13, 1 of 2 from 3, he got most of his points, I think, in garbage time. Uh, never mind, he only got two of his points uh, in garbage time. And Okongwu, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 rebounds from his center. is just abysmal. And then they really got no other contributors. And as you can see, we had 6 double-digit scorers. 2 players with double-doubles. Uh, Cedric Lewis, 27 points, 7 rebounds, 25 assists, 2 steals, and a block. I did have 6 turnovers, alright. But a 25 to 6 turnover to assist ratio is uh, pretty damn good in my book. Uh, 10 of 18 from the field, 3 of 8 from downtown. Not great from downtown, but it is what it is. Uh, Sabonis with 24 points and 7 rebounds, only missed 2 shots. Did hit 2 threes. Uh, Aiden had 22 and 9. Um, Lamelo Ball had 16, 3 and 5, 2 steals. He did not play much though. Um, at least with me. Aaron Gordon had 13, and Nick Richards with 13 and 10 off the bench. The only player that really struggled was Matisse Thibel, who just really just launched threes. And um, Isaiah Joe, who shot 40% from three, but shot about like 33% from the field. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.